fiendish friends of the night and American and other movies. To yeah. the fifth episode ever of Dicko's Evil Movie Review. That's right. Pumped. I'm here, uh, your, your good friend, good friend of the night, Larry Dicko, and I'm here with Fuckface. Fuckface! Fuckface, you're looking pretty yoked out, bro. Yeah, I feel pretty fucking good. You've been lifting good. weights or something? Pretty, I, I've been lifting weights. Whoa, man, look at oh, these. Damn. Oh, yeah, that's right. You smell like it? your armpit? You like it. That smells like man. That's right. Yeah, I like that's that. Right. Yeah, man. Yes, for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Fuckface has arms for a very special reason because we're reviewing the last bland and bullet to the career the two greatest action stars in all of cinema history Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone yeah uh, can I hear your Sylvester Stallone impersonation See, like hey give me that bologna sandwich <laughs> yeah, well, give me that bologna sandwich. Ah, the that's bologna a, sandwich. I want the bologna I need it. sandwich. Come on, bring it to me. Uh, that's my Sylvester. So get yourself to a bologna sandwich, Stallone. Yeah, and that's my terrible Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation. Be prepared for a lot more of that. So before we uh, actually review the last bland and uh, bullet to the career, we are going to actually do a breakdown year by year comparison of their entire careers. Get ready for action. Let's do a pose off to get ready. The fuck yeah! yeah. yeah. Fucking yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus! Oh, yeah. All right. I believe I shit my pants. I had a problem. Let's as well. yeah. go. Okay. The seventies. Yeah. Okay, yeah, early seventies. Uh, early seventies pretty much sucked for both of them. Uh, Schwarzenegger did a little-known movie in 69, Hercules in New York, which is actually kind of famous because it was so fucking bad. Meanwhile, Sylvester Stallone was doing... Well, he did a porno. Oh, can you tell me more about Sylvester well, Stallone's porno? Well, we can't find the unedited version of the porno, so we can't see but, him fucking. But okay. he was in yes. a porno. That's true. Unfortunately, world, you will not be able to see Sylvester Stallone fucking. You'll have to be satisfied with Hulk Hogan. That's as close as you can get. Anyway, it turns out, uh, basically, early 70s, uh, Arnie did Hercules in New York, and Sylvester Stallone was a disco patron in the movie Clute, and he was thug number one in the movie Bananas. So that's uh, that's that's an awesome career of both those guys. So the winner goes to uh, nobody, really. I guess maybe Schwarzenegger, because he did a full-length feature movie, sort of. Late 70s. Well, what did Sylvester Stallone in the late 70s do that people may have heard of? Uh, the Rocky. And the uh, Rocky too. And uh, that's a pretty good movie. Am I like Yogi Bear, Ed Norton? Where am yeah, I going? Jackie yeah, Gleason? Exactly. Okay, uh, late 70s. Uh, there can be no doubt about it because he did Rocky 1 and Rocky 2. And the cool thing about Rocky 1 is he wrote it as well as shopped it around, tried to get people to produce it. They said, sure, we'll make you a movie, but you can't start. And he's like, what can I start for a movie? And they're like, no, we have to get something more handsome and like better and charismatic. He's like, what can I get a movie somewhere else? And so anyway, the cool thing is he actually did it his own way, and it's kind of one of the early indie film success stories. Of course, there's the great Death Race 2000, where he plays Machine Gun Joe Paterbo, with uh, the classic line where he's talking about his navigator, Myra. Hey, Myra, uh, everybody thinks you're pretty cool, but me, I think you're just a big baked potato. At the same time, Arnie was doing Pumping Iron. That's right. Which is his first breakout hit. Yeah. But it's not really him uh, being the breakout hit. It's, it was a great movie about bodybuilding. He also did, he was played the handsome stranger in The Villain. Oh, also, Arnold Schwarzenegger did an amazing episode of Streets of San Francisco. Oh, where he played. Oh, Jesus. He yeah. played? Uh, what did he play? Played a bodybuilder. Yeah. Right. Cook some oh, oh, mm, It's like your own bicep. Oh, delicious. Oh, 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 delicious. Yes, uh, it's, it's an amazing uh, episode just because at that time no one really knew what bodybuilding was. So he's in this class with this girl explaining that he's a bodybuilder. And she's like, What? A bodybuilder? What's that? Because it wasn't a professional so sport, it wasn't a big deal at the time. So she goes to his house to watch him like do his poses and she starts laughing at him. And he freaks out and he's like, Don't laugh at me! You don't understand! It's beautiful! Don't laugh at me! Oh, oh, oh. And he shakes her and throws her on the ground. She cracks her head open and dies. It's the best acting of his entire yeah, career. Don't laugh at me! It's beautiful! Winner of the late 70s? Sylvester Stallone! That's right, Rocky! That's right. What? Hey, Rocky. Da, 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 da. Uh, early 80s! Uh, 
this yeah. one is probably yes. the toughest call of all because they were both really their careers just took off. So on Arnie's side, we have the unbelievable Kong and the Barbarian, which uh, is in my top five all-time favorite movies of all time, because it has beautiful cinematog cinematography, an amazing cast, James Earl Jones, Schwarzenegger, uh, some other buff dudes, I forgot their names, great director, and the greatest producer who has ever lived, yeah. Dino yeah. De Laurentiis. And it, it's a cool story. Uh, when they're casting Arnold Schwarzenegger for it, his first meeting with Dino, Dino De Laurentiis, he goes in and Dino's kind of a small guy and he has this giant desk. And he's like, yeah, what does a little man like you need with such a big desk? And then Dino's like, hey, get this man, get him out of here. I don't want this guy. It's like I just saw him a movie. Blah, 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 blah. And so it was this big fight to actually keep Artie in the movie because he like immediately insulted him. So anyway, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful movie. Also, Terminator. Terminator. Did you talk about oh, your love of Terminator? Jesus. I, I think, think Fuckface actually loves Terminator more than me. Yeah, Terminator, I believe, is is pretty much a perfect movie. Laundry Day? Nothing clean? Laundry Day. Also, he did Commando! That's off a little yeah. steam. Uh, that's all, it's a pretty bad movie. There's a lot of terrible parts, but it's also like sort of set the, the pattern for all action movies going from that point on. And uh, there's some really uh, good, terrible one-liners in it. Fuckface is a great story about uh, Commando. Please, Fuckface. Yeah. When I was a kid, and I saw Commando, and I saw them throw that pipe into that guy's chest, and he says, uh, what, you know, what off a little steam. Like a little steam. And I was always, I was shocked that no chunk of meat flew out <laughs> from the middle of the pipe. There should have been meat in that fucking pipe. Normally, wouldn't like a, a chunk of meat this long just sort of fly out like a weird hot <laughs> yeah, dog Yeah, a weird or cylinder of would meat. It, would it not? Some kind I mean, of horrible hot dog that could technically come out. And in the early 80s, what was Sylvester Stallone doing? Rocky Three, First Blood, Rambo, Rocky Four. Those are, no doubt, amazing movies. Revolutionary in a lot of ways. Rambo, definitely, First Blood and Rambo definitely changed a lot of what we expect out of action movies. I think big explosions are one of those things. But anyway, there's one movie that unfortunately brings him down several pegs. Rhinestone. I'm a rhinestone cowboy. Do, do. Yes, if you've wanted to see Sylvester Stallone singing country music, that's your movie. So the early 80s goes to Schwarzenegger. Late, Late 80s. 80s. You got Cobra, Rambo 3, and Rocky 5. Good movies, bro. Uh, I love Cobra. I love Cobra. I adore Cobra. I love Cobra too. Yes, it's one of the it's like one of the greatest Christmas movies. Greatest, of all time. Yeah, yeah. It's got cult. It's, it's got, got, co cult it's got in satanic it. cults in it. Satanic cult. It's got a Christmas. Cop. You can't understand driving a, a Studebaker. Oh man. Uh, it's yeah. got uh, one of the greatest lines of all action cinema. You, you the crime, and I'm the disease, or, or something like that. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? <laughs> and what was Schwarzy doing in the meantime? Raw deal, Predator, Running Man, Red Heat. Twins and Total Recall and Kindergarten Cop. Get your ass to Mars. Get your ass to Mars. Get your ass to Mars. Uh, I would say this one's not even a friggin' close contest because clearly uh, Predator, a Predator and Total Recall alone destroy everything that Sylvester Stallone did in that era. Early 90s. Schwarzenegger's movies in the early 90s. Terminator 2. Last action hero, True Lies, and the Terrible Junior. Well, I don't think that's a lot to be proud of. Terminator 2 is pretty good, but I, I'm not the biggest fan because I don't like that he's a good guy. That's kind of crappy on, on in my brain. And it's got the kid. It's got yeah, a little the kid in it. Terrible uh, kid who, who grew up to be a, 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 a butt raping crack addict, right? Is that right? I, I don't know. Was that you? Was that you? No, no, you grew no, up to be the, no, I'm no, sorry. No, I get these guys confused. No. Okay. Also. Last action hero. Now, the last action hero is, is significant for one thing because it was his first big, giant blunder, and it was a box office like bomb. And you know, it was the first time Swartzy made a movie that was like, oh, no one like, nobody wanted to see. True Lies. Yes, the great um, James Cameron who made that awful Avatar movie. Uh, all in all, a lot of uh, wacky terrorists and uh, super crazy action and humor. And I don't think it's a bad movie by any means, but I do remember the end where he kisses. Uh, the hermaphrodite, Jamie Lee Curtis, right in front of a nuclear bomb, and, I, and he, I was like, I was just looking at that and going, "Wow, that's America." Oh, 
them all. That's our recreation of that scene. We didn't really, I didn't really kiss him. I know. Meanwhile, Sylvester Stallone was doing exciting movies like Stop or My Mom Will Squirt, Cliffhanger, uh, Demolition Man, and Judge Dredd. Now, I have, a, I have a neat story about Cliffhanger. I heard this from a guy I worked with who heard it from one of his friends who was on the set. So it's uh, one of those exciting stories. Apparently, uh, Sylvester Sloan was having sex with a, his girlfriend in his trailer, and he forgot he had some kind of like uh, microphone on. And so while he was having sex with her, uh, people could hear him saying over and over, Cook the balls, say the name. Cook the balls, say the name. Cook the balls, say the name. Cook the balls. Say the name. Anyway, uh, that whole uh, era goes to Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, yeah obviously. Yeah. For one reason. Can you tell me why? It's a demolition man. Of course. Demolition man. Right. Greetings, citizen. What's your boggle? Yes, Demolition Man, the in <laughs> insanely awesome movie where Taco Bell is the only restaurant left on Earth or America, at least. Uh, wonderful movie, Dennis Rodman, when, or was it Wesley Snipes? Sorry, I get those guys confused. Wesley Snipes when he was young and he was crazy and doing it up. Sylvester Stallone before he kind of got old. Uh, insane script, uh, insane uh. action, and definitely years before its time. In fact, a lot of things that happened in that movie are happening now. Exciting time. Uh, what was Sly doing? Copland. Yes, that's and a good movie. Ants. Wow, what a. What yeah. a yeah, that's pretty good, man. Copland yeah. and Ants. Yeah, good it's movie. Not, you know, man, good yeah. movie, sure. What was Arnie doing? Eraser. Kind of another uh, crummy movie of his. And one of my favorite movies of all time Jingle All the Way. Another one of my favorite movies, Batman and Robin. Now, that is an amazing film. The whole thing is like a giant Power Rangers episode on crack. And the Schwarzenegger plays Mr. Freeze, and he has an arsenal of horrendous snow puns. Ah, uh, chill out. There's no way you can win, tur. And the end of the 90s belongs to Black Plowman, which is actually what Schwarzenegger means in uh, Austrian or German or wherever he's from. Anyway. The, the two thousands. Wow. Wow. That's where we are now. You may wonder why it's not the early two thousands and late two thousands because nobody was doing anything. Their careers are totally on the slides. Arnie had Collateral Damage, which was a pretty terrible movie, and then Terminator Three, and it was a terrible movie. Oh yes. Yeah, so anyway, aside from doing that, he was also being the governor of California. California. Which, California. Uh, and, and secretly fucking his maid, right? And yeah, secretly was fucking that in the everything. Was the seventies or eighties? When is he fucking his maid? During this time, uh, Sly was making uh, Jack all, and toward tell and towards the end of the two thousands, he made Expendables, which uh, I was insanely drunk when I saw Expendables. I enjoyed it. He wrote it. I don't think it's a great movie, but it was amazing that he managed to pull all those people together. And then uh, Expendables 2, terrible. Don't see it, no reason. And now it's the year 2013, and both of these guys who started their movies in the early 70s are still making action movies. And so, we are going to review both their action movies that came out very recently and very close together. The Last Bland Review. Terrible. Terrible. It felt like a shitty episode of CSI mixed with The Andy Griffith Show. Basically, Schwarzy plays a small town sheriff in the name of a town he can't pronounce. Yeah, welcome to Samatan. The jokes aren't funny. The cast is weak. It, it look, one guy, especially the, the drunk jail guy, it looks like they just went to Taco Bell and then it's picked. Hey, you, still in the hot sauce. Be in our movie, be in our movie. Uh, yeah, the only guy who's decent is Figgy, and he is a longtime bit actor who always plays some kind of evil Mexican guy. Oh, yeah, and Forrest Whitaker is in it. Yes, and for some reason, Forrest Whitaker's in it. And I, all, I, all I, blackmail? I'm, yeah, blackmail. Why I'm Forrest, sure, I'm yeah. sure of it. I'm sure of it. There's got to be blackmail. There's no. Why would the fuck would he be in that movie? All, all I can figure it's, out is Schwarzenegger's like, 
Yeah, remember when we killed that hooker? Yeah, okay, now you have to be in my movie. Yeah, they did some okay. shit in Thailand together that was yeah, what unspeakable. They did unspeakable <laughs> things. Anyway, it's, 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 Forrest yeah. Whitaker's in it. He plays the generic FBI director. The whole thing's about this, like, stupid, unbelievable uh, Mexican drug lord who's trying to get back to Mexico. It's awful. The whole thing's awful. The jokes are terrible. The action's pretty questionable, and it's just too long. But it, it ends in a giant... Re Ridiculous car chase through a freaking cornfield. What'd you think about that car chase? Fucking corny. corny. It was pretty corny. Was I mean, really corny. there's two cars stalking each other. I mean, it was almost eerie how they knew where they were. I couldn't tell what the shuck was going on. What the shuck is going on? I mean, it was amazing. I mean, there was not a kernel of believability in the whole thing. Yes, and now we're out of corn puns. Anyway, now on to bullet to the career. Not nearly as bad as last plan. Actually, it felt like a really nice cable, made for cable TV movie to watch when you're hungover on a Saturday. Uh, it's about Sylvester Sloan, he's a hitman. Uh, he doesn't kill some hooker, and now he's got to run around and kill a bunch of people for whatever reason. It co-stars a very tall, handsome Asian guy, Sung Kang. Sung King, Sung Kang. Golly, that guy's name. That guy from Fast and the Furious, who's <laughs> even a worse actor than Sylvester Stallone. Well, maybe not a worse actor, maybe worse at dealing with horrendous dialogue. My theory is uh, Sylvester Stallone's whole career has been, uh, has he, for his whole career, he has been spouting out terrible dialogue, but somehow making the best of it. And this guy hasn't had as much super corny dialogue, so is not good at handling it. Anyway. They do a terrible job in the movie of dealing with the fact that he's Asian. They call him everything you can imagine. They call him a samurai. They call him Kato. They call him Confucius. They call him Odd Job. They stop just short of calling him Hong Kong Fui. And uh, it's pretty poorly dealt with. And uh, yeah, they just should have just like totally just had like this guy starring in the movie. We don't have to say he's Asian or uh, talk about it or anything. He's just our co-star. The action's all over the place. It's just sometimes decent, sometimes totally fucking incomprehensible. Except where it culminates at the end, where he has an X fight with some guy who looks like a wrestler from something. And uh, I would have loved nothing more than to see two big buff guys hacking each other off. But in fact, it looks like you put a steak in a blender and put your face two inches from it. Because you can't tell what is going on. It's just a lot of muscles and hacking. So anyway, yeah, it's a pretty terrible movie. That being said. It's a terrible movie, but it's way better than The Last Blend. So, ta-da! I would say Sylvester McCoy, Sylvester Stallone, Sylvester the Cat. I would say Sylvester the Cat has won the contest between The Last Blend and Bullet to the Career. And whose overall long storied career is better? Arnie. Sylvester. Arnie. Sylvester. Arnold. Do you want to fight? Yes. Go. Okay, right now. How about it? Get come on, come on, man. Trying to fucking Stop killing me for a second. Oh my gosh. I'm like, who could be calling in the bone phone? Hello? What, Sylvester Stallone? Uh, what? You're coming on our show? Good lord. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. Sylvester oh, Stallone fuck. is going to be on our show. That's crazy. Uh, primp your hair. Uh, oh, come, come your balls. Oh my God. Say the name. Uh, come your balls. Say the name. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yes, we'd love to have you on our show. Please come as soon as you can. Uh, All right. Okay, we'll see you in a second. Yes. All right. Bye. Uh, oh my God. Oh, this my is amazing. God. This is incredible, man. Shouldn't have talked so much shit. Uh, there's no problem, guys. I'm glad to be on your show. Well, uh, um, gosh, can you believe it? Who do you think won that fight? What's never the answer? You guys gotta gotta work this out. Damn! That's such an amazing piece of philosophy. What a advice. message! What can a message! Yeah, Violence is know? never the answer. Oh God. Uh, you never watched my movie? <laughs> Uh, what? Well, who do you think is better, you or Schwarzenegger? Uh, I mean, you're a good guy. Oh, 
Well, let me ask you this. Who do you think has a better chance going forward? <laughs> Words of wisdom from the immortal Sylvester Stallone. Thank you, sir, and thank you for being on our show. My pleasure, my pleasure, I'm doing this And that is our show. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sylvester Stallone. Thanks, Fuckface. Yeah, I love you. I always love you. Thanks, Dan, the, the bone foam. Next up, we're going to do the Oscars, our take on the Oscars, as well as our worst critics of the year. This is next. You're going to miss your arms? Yeah, I'm going to miss show, them. Man. I'm kind of like them. You pick up girls or? Yeah, girls literally. Or what can you pick up? Anything with this? Hey. Hey. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Man, you kind of was... It's too grabby? Yeah, oh, a little bit grabby. Like that. Oh. Yeah, and that is our show, the comparison oh. of Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger's careers. Oh, ladies. Taste it from here. Ladies, you're messing up. 